This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. Micah Miller. She was a 30-year-old preacher's wife who wanted out. In fact, filed for divorce. And then two days later, found dead in the woods with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. However, there was more than one spent shell casing there, including an unspent shell casing there, which does seem a little bit bizarre when you're talking about a suicide, but that's what happened. There's accusations that have been flying uh, on social media and uh, all over the place, media outlets as well, talking about her husband, John Paul Miller, as maybe being involved in some way, shape, or form. He's not been charged with anything and vehemently denies uh, any accusations that connect him to the death. Can't say crime because it's not been deemed that yet, but they are looking into it. Uh, of uh, of Micah Miller. Joining me to discuss, Jennifer Coffindaff, a retired FBI special agent. Uh, this is just a weird one. Uh, we have mental illness involved. We have a very over-the-top, charismatic, and I'm going to say narcissistic-type preacher involved who seems to like to put his face on uh, anything and everything and talk about how hot his dead wife is. Uh, it, it, that seems to be the main point. She's hot and that she's mentally ill over and over and over. There's lots of accusations from family members and even uh, Micah herself in her own words uh, talking about escaping abuse. What are your thoughts on this uh, hot mess that is this case? Well, I think she was definitely abused. And when you look at how they met, I think she was 14 years old or something. Yeah. And and uh, just the whole inception of their relationship, I think, is uh, very questionable uh, to begin with. He was quite her senior. Uh, and I think the whole relationship was horrible from everything I've read and seen she was abused. Uh, there's, you know, the scene in the in the gas station uh, parking lot. There's her own writings. Uh, there's the testimony from her loved ones that said she was trying to escape. Of course, she was filing uh, for divorce. And and he clearly, uh, you know, was having uh, extramarital affairs. And I thought it was most interesting recently where he came out and said, I am going to show you uh, that somebody was involved in her death. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen that, Tony, but to me, now you're you're trying to say, oh, it could be possible that somebody else was involved in her death. But, oh, by the way, it wasn't me. He said he has and, 350 pieces of evidence that he's going to slowly yeah. release on social media, which just, again, seems very bizarre to do if you have evidence of someone being involved or something in, in the demise of your wife that you're going to kind of make it a social media event and stay tuned. Uh, but he likes the spotlight. You can tell that. Uh, and he seems to have an answer for anything and everything that that is coming his way. Which, I mean, if, if you're being accused online of, of being involved in the death of your wife, I, I think you'd want to defend yourself. But um I, I don't know that this is coming across very well if, if, in fact, he has absolutely nothing to do with it. Yeah, his answers are coming across very poorly. He comes across to me, I can't believe a word a word out of his mouth uh, because none of it really makes any sense. And, you know, I wondered if we might be dealing here with somebody who uh, was actually assisted. When I say assisted, there was a recent case where a girl, she was only 17, uh, they ruled manslaughter. She was convicted of manslaughter because she sort of enticed yeah. her boyfriend to kill himself. Uh, that was one of the first convictions I've ever seen. I tried to research to see if there are any, any more, uh, but basically make the, making the person feel horrible about yeah. themselves and then, and then kind of egging them on, if you will. And I wonder if that wasn't partially what happened here. I mean, with him, yeah. John Paul doing that to her. No, that's what I wonder. I mean, I, I I don't know that he was there pulling the trigger or anything of that nature, but it certainly seems to me from the evidence and what we've seen in a lot of these uh, court documents that have been filed uh, by her sister Sierra Francis, by uh, her his uh, her uh, his ex wife. Uh, there's a lot of accusations of abuse. Want to listen ad free? 
Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.